The son and namesake of late dictator Ferdinand Marcos was sworn in as president of the Philippines on Thursday. It was a stunning comeback for one of Asia's most famous political dynasties, 36 years after it was ousted in a popular uprising. Marcos Jr.'s critics say his landslide victory last month follows decades of effort to change the public image of his family, which lived lavishly at the helm of one of the world's most notorious kleptocracies. Better known as Bong Bong, Marcos praised his late father's rule but promised unity and that his policies would benefit everyone. We will build back better by doing things in the light of the experiences that we have had, both good and bad. It doesn't matter. No looking back in anger or nostalgia. In the road ahead, the immediate months will be rough, but I will walk that road with you. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets of the capital Manila. Ferdinand Marcos the Elder ruled the Philippines from 1965 for two decades, almost half of it under martial law. Thousands of his opponents were jailed, killed or disappeared during his rule. The family name became synonymous with cronyism, extravagance and the disappearance of billions of dollars from state coffers. The family has rejected accusations of embezzlement. Marcos the Elder was overthrown in a 1986 people power revolution and his family went into exile. Protester Charm Maranan says seeing a Marcos back at the helm will reopen old wounds. This is disappointing for all victims of martial law because it would be like a slap to their faces. No? Marcos succeeds Rodrigo Duterte, whose daughter Sara has become vice president. Her support for the disgraced dynasty's comeback means those who want to try Duterte for thousands of killings in his so-called war on drugs face a near impossible task.